my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jane if this is the first time that you are seeing me thank you so much for stopping by my return subscribers from here to you i love you thank you thank you so um today i just saw this i just saw this they say um pastor adeboye keeps mute on 2023 election despite obese presence <clears throat> this is i think they are celebrating something in church or something and the ob was invited and, and he showed up let me read what this thing said they said the announcement of ob peter ob <clears throat> the labor party presidential candidate was met with joy by members of the redeemed christian church of god R rc CG. The crowd cheered enthusiastically for Obi, who was making his first appearance at the redeem redemption camp. They were impressed by his presence. The announcement disrupted program as it took a few minutes to put the overjoyous crowd under control in a trending video on social media obi introduction at the church was greeted with loud cheers from participants of the event which is tagged perfect jubilee so that's what they were celebrating perfect jubilee and obi was uh, invited so the woman which they did not name here they say they a woman name withheld who introduced Obi nevertheless remarked, It's Jesus we are celebrating. To the uh, uh, applause or applause, <laughs> to the applause of the audience. The, the woman that made that announcement that was introducing people, uh, his name, her name was not here. And uh, she made the announcement and said, we are celebrating Jesus here. When people could not stop, could not stop. So they say, due to the presence of Obi, some of the audience were expecting the general, the general overseer of RCCG, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, to make a statement about the 2023 election. When he took the stage, moments later, <clears throat> but he chose to concentrate on his sermon instead okay this one brought me i've already made the video of this but now i'm going to delete this video so that i can do this one put it together this one brought me to that video that i made about the comments that um that he made about the comments that um <clears throat> adeboye made about not telling any member on who to vote for about not encouraging anybody on who to vote for he said have i ever told you guys on who to vote for they said no he said because in his church all members of the ch of the parties were represented pdp apc wherever they were all represented he said i don't i am the father of all i don't want to uh, tell anybody on who to vote so according to this write-up they said due to the presence of obi in his church everybody was expecting him to say something about it and he refused to say something about it because he doesn't want to tell his members on who to vote he said he has never voted before he has never never voted before he said when you were a father you do something like he claimed that he is the father of all which i agree uh he will soon turn 20 uh, he will soon turn what 80 80 years old so when you are a father when you have a child when you have children you do something so that the children will emulate what you are doing will watch what you are doing we follow your footsteps and said uh, i'm following my footstep the footstep of my father so adeboye uh, papa adeboye i'm sorry for calling him adeboye papa adeboye could not even the people that came there noticed that they wrote this said due to the presence of obi everyone expected everyone everyone expected um 
the, the overseer, which is Enoch Adoboy, to speak about 2023 election. But guess what? I'm glad that I, I'm, I'm going to delete the other video, but not because now I now know that the members of his church they already know who they will vote because when they were announcing every other person, the church did not catch fire until they announced his name. So the members know, the members already they know, just like every other place, no matter what is going on. They already know who to uh, vote for. So, my uh, de, um, Papa Adebo, yes, uh, members, thank you so much for acknowledging Pitobi, acknowledging a change, acknowledging uh, a change in our life, acknowledging a good thing in our life. Thank you. And you pick up your PVC. You do the right thing. It does not matter what church you go to. Nobody is preventing anybody from going to whatever church. But what we are saying is that churches should not should not uh, disgrace themselves or should not brainwash you on who to vote because of what they have collected from behind that you are not part of when uh who, who was that pastor uh in the other video that i watched that one all the members they say hey listen I am telling you guys the truth that you must vote right. If you do not vote right in this 2023, that you will be the one to suffer. You will be the one to be hungry. You will be the one with no light. He said, I will not suffer with you. He said, I will not suffer with you. He said, I know too much to suffer with you. So, but I am trying to tell you so that you do not suffer. So vote right. He said, the, he, quote, he even quoted the Bible and said, the Bible said that children should not be the leader of a country that children should not be the leader of a country especially the ones in diaper he showed it in, a, in the bible and the church went off the church on erupted with a with laughter so people are opening their eyes people are thinking wiser no matter what you try to tell them if you are not just there to tell them the word of god and just keep walking since you don't want to encourage them on who to vote for but for Papa Adeboye to said, I do not vote. Pa Papa Adeboye said, I do not vote. And I am not going to encourage anybody to vote. Papa Adeboye, please, we want you to reconsider and tell your members that cannot afford to get a job, single job. That cannot afford to get one dollar a day. That do not have electricity. That do not have job that do not have health care, that do not have road, that do not have security to protect them, that do not, that cannot go on the road, that cannot afford the, a, a plane ticket to go on the air just like any other person on the air. Please, that's the reason why you must tell them and said, vote right. Vote right this 2023. Because what you do, what any of you do this 2023 will come to harm you. Because what those little people, those uh, poor people are going through, they're kidnapping them, they're deleting them, they will, it will come to harm you too. It will follow all of you. So I am so encouraged what I am seeing. And to all the pastors that have told their members to do it, it yes, it was Ibiome. It was Ibiome. Yes, yes, yeah, I remember. It was Ibiome that told his members, hey, listen, you must vote right. Hey, I wish I can find it now and play it to you guys. I know all of you have seen it. Ibiome said, you must vote right, though. You must vote right. But he said, because I am not going to suffer with you. Because he said, I know too much to suffer with you. So please, my people, thank you for understanding. Thank you for doing the right thing. Thank you for knowing good thing when you see it, no matter how much they try to uh, uh, close your eyes. Tell them that you have the brain of your own. Tell them this 2023 is never, never going to happen. So my lovely people, I saw that. I said, Adeboye will never, never do it because he has already swore that he will not vote. He said, so Adeboye, Papa Adeboye has never voted since, since he became an adult. He has never voted. So let me tell you a reason why you, all of you must vote, especially this 2023. One, because our lives depend on it. Two, so that you will get a job. Three, you will get light. Four, you will be safe in the country. Anything that you are doing that, unless your life is okay the way it is, the only people that can brag that their lives are okay, they are not in the country. 
is the children of these politicians that are all over in the abroad. So, my lovely people, my lovely people, I will make a separate video because this one is already 10 minutes. This is the reason why you must get up this time. Go and get your PVC. If you don't get your PVC, you have rigged the election for these people. Because there's no way they can see everything that is going on and they are bragging and say, ah, Peter Obi is just a, a rat in the corner. Peter Obi, you don't take what is the king. And we're going to make another video about it. So don't, don't, um, don't think Adeboye will say more than he has said in that video where he said that he will not encourage anybody to vote. Papa Deboya have already said it, that he will not. So, uh, uh, expecting him here, expecting him here where they were celebrating to come and talk about it, to talk, come and talk about to be so that the church will go crazy. The church will go crazy whether they like it or not. The road is going crazy. The mosque is going crazy. He is not only going to churches. He, We believe in God Almighty. We believe in God Almighty, how their money will fail them this time, only God will take care of it. So all the pastors that have taken time, all the pastors that have done it and tell their, their members and said, do the right thing. Do the right thing and vote. Because this election will depend on what the pastors are saying because all the members are in the church. God bless all of you. You all will be remembered in the history book of Nigeria. Nigeria broke, it will be from the pastors. Nigeria goes up, it will be from the pastors. So all of you that have done it, from me to you, I appreciate every one of you because you will not take it. You want your members, the same members that are giving tight and offering. You want them to at least get a job. You want them to at least leave to come to church and, and put out tight and offering. If they don't have a job, you cannot get money in the church. So you guys already have money, but they are willing because they are hungry for God. They want to come to church. They want to come and continue to praise God. Please, put your food up. Put your foot on the ground and remind your people that, hey, listen, these people have shamed us enough. Let us tell them that God is in control in this because whatever it is that God has taken over, eh? There's nothing. There's nothing, no matter what devil, no matter how many people they try to delete, it will not work for them. So let us do the right thing. Let us do the right thing. Go and vote for Peter Obi. You have tried, if you have tried Okuru, every time you tried Okuru, you get a, a running stomach. You try a goosey, you get a running stomach. You try them again. You try them again. You keep trying them. Nah, try none on ne. Please try an ed. Try an ed. Try something else. Don't be eating the same thing that is purging your stomach. Instead of changing your hand to get something else especially that something else that has promised you a lot of things a lot of good things that that will be done but i'm not going to speak for him that he will speak it himself so my lovely people adeboye don't expect adeboye to speak adeboye will not speak because he has already told you that he will not speak and he, because all his members, you see, when you collect envelope from this, collect from this, collect from this church, collect from that church, collect from that church, collect from that church. Let me tell you, my darling people, you will not come and speak to you, you yourself that is demanding from a double to come and speak. If you are him that have collected envelope all over, why would you come and speak? So he's expecting people to use their sense, which I am expecting people to use their sense. Instead of him coming to speak and the people um, that gave him the envelope will come after him and say, oh, remember what we gave you and you came and did this. Use your own sense and use your teeth or use your tongue and count your teeth and tell me how many it is. Figure it out yourself. And I know all of you are smart enough to figure some things like this out. Don't wait for Adeboye to come and tell you because Adeboye will not tell you. Because the money he collected is with him. He's not going to give all of you. The school, the school, the university that Adeboye built. This is how you know people. The school that Adeboye built, the university in Nigeria, none of your children can afford to go to. Most people that go to those colleges are foreigners that comes you cannot afford it no no it's a no to the no 
you cannot afford it. And you all are members of his church. You all are members of his church and his school. You cannot afford to go. And you are still believing that he will tell you the truth. He will not. He will not. But I know that you guys will take care of business yourself. I believe in you. I trust in you. I like what is happening now in my own lifetime. God bless all of you. God protect all of you. God guide all of you and open doors for you. And in this 2023, good things will start happening in our country. God bless you all for watching. From me to you. Bye-bye.